Yes, my good people, you are welcome to Younger Life Channel, and I want to believe that you guys are doing wonderfully well, even though with the economic challenge that we are having in Nigeria today. But uh, never mind, um, we need to double our efforts in whatever we are doing, you know, to make both ends meet. That is the major solution, I think, you know, is going to be the possible way out of it. Even that abroad you are running to, some people are running to, you know, when you get abroad, if you want to work really, as in working, depending on the country you visit for work, you must not do only one work. Virtually they do more than one work. So why not start here in Nigeria? If you are doing one thing, you can engage in another thing, you know, to be helping yourself. That is the way out, I think is the way out. But if you are hoping on, you know, what uh, <laughs> Nigerian economy is talking about, then <laughs> you are gone. <laughs> well, um, um, that is by the way, you know, today I want to talk about this uh, issue of uh, the water fountain that Aboki was found, you know, pouring water inside. Honestly, when I saw that thing the first time, my head, I said, well, well, the governor is trying to make the state proud, but I know that Anambra is above some certain things. So, there is a press statement issued by a uh, commissioner from the commission as it does that. I'm going to put it out in case if you have not heard it here from the state in their own defense concerning that video. But that place, that Ochanjaranda about Abinishio, you know, I was totally against anything there if not fly over you know i i was saying it watch my previous video i was saying it people were saying it that we need a flyover there at that and that house that will help to solve basic problems not uh, the water fountain what are you doing with water fountain in that kind of uh, traffic challenge point that is the, the basic the, the, the painful aspect of it. that place is a traffic challenge point so the only thing, the only thing that is going on there should be to solve traffic challenge. You know, everything is not uh, in a night guy and hero, you know, some things. Even if it means to borrow, let government borrow. So like I said, actually, you know, what we need there is flyover. Nothing short of that. Anything there is not, you know, helping the traffic situation. That place is a major point, connection point. That place links you know, a lot of uh, traffic, those going to main markets, and you know that after buying from main markets, some people are from uh, Ochanja market, some move to down to main market. So that place need a flyover. Even if it's not done now, I know that later they will build a flyover there. So, but, uh, you know, uh, uh, the governor cannot do more than his capacity, you know, more than his awareness. Know, and also people that surround him should also help him sometimes you know to insist that Oga oh let's do this thing this way but um, you know eh, some things are meant to be but however I'm going to read out you know from what happened recently what the state government their defense concerning that uh, Aboki pouring water on that uh, you know my water fountain well um after that um, i'm going to wrap it wrap it up with uh, you know some few talks and uh, we are going to end it there because i know that personally when i visited abia i saw and i met water fountain there a bigger one for that matter at Mbwa road towards that uh, purple street you know uh, Purple Street is one of the things that carried me to Abia State and uh, you know, some other things also. Abia is part of Southeast, so I want to carry every Southeast state along. You know, with time we'll see what happens. But uh, however, let's read from uh, what they have for us concerning this um, water fountain of a thing. What the state government say about that? List in all. Government links Anambra water fountain are functioning to vandalism. Government links Anambra water fountain are functioning to vandalism. 
Amber State government, through the State Ministry of Information, has blamed unwarranted tampering and the possible vandalization for the malfunctioning of the Ochanja roundabout water fountain in the commercial city of Odisha. Well, um, malfunctioning. Malfunctioning. Okay, let's read and see the details of uh, the type of malfunctioning that led to a bulky pouring water. Then this was contained in a statement by the state government on Tuesday, a viral video that uh, circulated on social media on Monday showed a man using kegs to refill the water fountain which was said to have been constructed in March when the state governor Chukumasorudo transformed the roundabout from the refuse dump site into a water fountain. According to the statement, the Commissioner for Information, Paul Wosu, said the viral video was the handwork of the mischief makers. And the opposition, you know, created to discredit the achievement of the state governor. Then uh, we also said the non-functional state of the fountain is the direct result of sabotage by willful vandalism. He said the video of a water vendor pretending to supply water to the supposedly dry fountain is mischievous and not well thought through for lack of thought to use to discredit and uh, denounce the publicly acclaimed hard-working governor of Anambra State, Professor Chukomasu. Opposition politicians have gone berserk in uh, orchestrating all manner of uh, infantile images to drive non-existing points. Unlike ordinary tap which flows from the tank that could be depleted over time, a water fountain recycles its water continuously and one in question which was installed barely a month ago could not have evaporated into the air. The Anambra State Minister of Power and Water Resources has, uh, has uh, reticulated water within a five kilometer radius of the neighborhood and there is no way water supply to Chandaranda about water fountain could have been a challenge. He added government frowns at the unwarranted tampering and the possible vandalization of public utilities you know, built within taxpayers' money. Anybody found tampering, facing or damaging the roundabout and fountain or any road infrastructure from now on will be immediately arrested and prosecuted. People should desist from making themselves available for useless propaganda that will run them to jail. Similarly, Saludo Press Secretary Christian Aburime in a statement noted that the Chandaranda Bout, which was turned into a water fountain, used to be a mountain of refuse and animal carcasses which repels residents and commuters alike, just as uh, it stored vehicle traffic and economic activities in that area. Abrina insisted that uh, the site of a water vendor pouring jerry cans of water into the dry fountain raised is not a consequence of a shoddy construction or lack of maintenance by the government, but rather the handiwork of vendors sponsored by political desperados. He said no agency of the state government engaged in the services of the water vendors seen in the video. For over two decades, the roundabout has been an eyesore, a source of disgust and uh, discontent. But Soludo came and turned the eyesore into a point of pride, a symbol of the state's commitment to environmental health, traffic flow, economic activity vitality and aesthetic excellence. Regrettably, an arrangement 
you know, and arranged the video started circulating online on Monday, painting a different spectacle of fountain. One orchestrated by those who don't like to see good things happen in Rambla. The sight of a water vendor pouring jet cans of water into the dry fountain hence is not the consequence of shabby construction or lack of a maintenance by the government, but rather the handiwork of vendors and some of the He continued, uh, okay, he continued this stage spectacle aimed to solid the government participants and so seed of a doubt among the populace. But why mischief makers can fool some people sometimes, they cannot fool everyone all the time. Let it be known that uh, no agency of the number state government engaged in the services of the water vendors seen in the video. It was all staged by uh, naysayers. How reasonable is it that the government is even higher a water vendor to refill the fountain? Because they might uh, have it captured on video. Obviously, the sponsors of the water fountains is who themselves. Meanwhile, it has also been discovered that uh, the non functional state of the fountain is the direct result of sabotage by willful vandalism, a deplorable act perpetrated by those who would uh, rather see an umbrella dead in the past than in facing progress and a brighter future. But the saboteurs will continue to fail in their anti progress antics. He promised that uh, the fountain will be fixed, he assured, while the functionality of the fountain may have been temporarily tampered with. The spirit that drove this transformation remains unbroken. The fountain will be fixed, and the governor's solution's tireless dedication to transforming every corner of the state shall not be deterred by such pretty machinations. He, however, advised the cast of London that contain of calumny and uh, instead channel their energies towards more constructive endeavors. Fondi Anambra eternal vigilance is the price to pay for sustainable progress. The people, not the government, you know, alone have to take responsible ownership and protection of the various public projects being constructed within being constructed with taxpayers' money. Yes, your Chandaranda Bald Fountain remains one of the good examples of what can be achieved when vision and determination converge on transformation. The waters of the fountain may have been, you know, momentarily stilled, but the currents of the progress in a number of states shall continue to flow, carrying the state towards a greater height of prosperity. And the uh, beauty have remained at it. Ah, well, um, if I say now, if you are not a baller golfer, you better go check it out. I'm going to go to the golf So if I did that, now, now the government is saying that they will fix the fountain again, make it functional, repair it all. That uh, is the act of sabotage, some people sabotage the effort of the governor and um, uh, to make it look as if uh, you know, an umbrella is not functional. But the government has promised to fix the water fountain in this again. But the question is how are we sure that they will not start voting again? How are we sure? After fixing it, based on what was said, we are we going to have a system, a fountain that is not functional? The fountain will be standing there. How are we sure that they will not tamper with it again? That is the question. You know, I said that I saw fountain water fountain in Napa. I don't know if uh, a number of people are. Uh, Okay, they, they said it's political sabotage. Maybe 
um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, Abia State don't have uh, sabotage there. Eh. But my point is that my point is that I preferred, and it's not late. Governor would have uh, governor would have constructed a flyover. And people are saying it. Water fountain is a good idea. That place looks neater and better in terms of uh, cleanliness than what it used to be. There's no doubt about that. No, but uh, honestly, we are looking for solutions, permanent solutions for the state. And uh, the place is a solution to what it has used to be, but I would have preferred a better solution to that. So that is the point. You have heard it all from what an uprising government said. Now you have known what happened. Okay. If you don't know, now you know. And if you know, you know. That is it. So I still remain to do until I come your way next time. I say bye for now.